<clears throat> oh, hi, I'm Ilya Kulik. Welcome to Real Estate Today. On previous shows, we've talked about mold and mortgages and interior design, but today's show I think is going to be just as exciting. We're going to be talking about home theaters and video surveillance and home house audio and how to integrate everything. And we're going to be with Jeff Gallia today, a book of theater and automation, and he is an expert in this field. So, welcome to Real Estate Today. You know, a lot of people think they know what home theaters are, or they use the word home automation, but they really don't know what it means. And I'm real excited about today's show. We're here with Jeff Gallia with BTA, which is Boca Theater and Automation. And we're trying to understand not only about home theaters, but really taking it to another level. And that's what his company has done. And we're going to be talking about actually home automation. So Jeff, thanks for coming to the show. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Can you explain to me, and you know, I'm a, kind of an electronic neophyte, Especially when I walked around your, your showroom, it was really unbelievable. I was really blown away. Thank you. Um, can you t explain to everybody at home what actually is home automation? Well, a, a home is, a, is actually pretty complex. There's a lot of systems that are working together. You've got your heating, air conditioning, ventilation. You've got your security system. You've got home theater. You've got lights going everywhere. You have pool and spa and so forth. What we try and do is integrate everything together into a simple user interface to make really to make your life more convenient, more uh, safer, easier to use. For example, when you're getting ready to have a party, you know, usually you, you run around the house, you adjust your lights just so. You might turn on music um, around the house, just uh, make a music selection. You need to turn on the, the pool lights and, and the landscape lighting and so forth. What if that could be done with a single press of a button? Um, another example is going to bed. You, you can have a, a good night button by your bedside table, which can shut off the temperature set back the temperature in the uh, areas of the house that are not used, shut off the lights, turn on a couple of night lights, arm the security system. Uh, when you go away on vacation, it can um, put the, the, uh, the lights into vacation mode so it looks like somebody's living in the house when, when you're gone, sets back the thermostats, arms the, uh, arms the alarm with a delay so when you come back in it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't go off. Okay. That type of thing. So it's integrating all of these systems together so that they work together seamlessly. Now, are you primarily doing most of this with new construction, or can someone who has an existing home typically uh, add a lot of these type of things to their Both. Rooms? Both. Certainly it's a lot easier to do in new construction. We can get the, uh, the right infrastructure in for the emerging technologies, but there are a lot of new technologies today that can use uh, wireless for communication, that can use the, uh, the existing wires in the house, like the AC power line for communication. Um, so it depends on the home, um, right. you know, single stories, double story, but uh, there hasn't been a house we've come across yet that we have not been able to fully right. automate. Now do you find, I would imagine, certainly someone who's very into technology, this is like a kid in a candy store, because you know, all these new type of things is you know, very exciting. For someone who maybe doesn't really understand how it works, is it, is it very easy to put all this together and to actually use it? I mean, how do you guys usually well, yep. you'd, be su you'd be surprised. Um, we, we have a lot of um, um, folks that come in that are looking for simplicity. You know, electronics are very complex. You've got, you know, a receiver and you've got your speakers and you've got the TV and well, the satellite well, dish. I have a million uh, You've got five clickers. Right. right. The idea of integrating it all in so that there's one single on button and one single off button is very appealing to to everyone universally. The, right. the idea of this is to, is to put all those things together to make it simple so that anybody can use it. So, so what are really the possibilities? I mean, someone comes in and they say, you know, what is the first step in trying to help someone, let's say, automate their home? Well, I, th I think the first step is just educating the, uh, the customer on, on what the possibilities are, trying to find out what's important to them. Um, most people are interested in a couple key things like whole house audio. Everybody right. likes to listen to music, little background music. Um, in a large home, lighting control is almost a necessity. You know, most homes we get into have an ex excess of 100 switches on the wall, big multi-gang switch plates where they can't remember which one is which, and they want dimmers and, and so well, forth. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because I have little children, and I run, you know, I used to make fun of my parents. I would run around, you know, my parents would run around 
shutting all the lights off. And now I find as I'm getting older, I'm doing the same thing. So I have a house with a you know, few bedrooms, and I'm always running all over the house, shutting all the lights. And it kind of would be nice. You know, as you said, in, I was reading in your brochure, you know, to create a more convenient, comfortable, you know, easier lifestyle. And not that it's the hardest thing to shut your lights off, but it would be kind of nice that you, know, you hit one button, and it right. sets it on the right mode that you would want for you know, the evening. Right, right. Uh, you know, a, a thinking home kind of uh, adapts. Th think of your car. You know, you, you open the door in the car and the lights come on. Everyone just has gotten used to that now. Well, what if that happens in your house when you open a closet door, a light comes on. When you shut the door, it goes off. You know, a lot of those types of things, you don't have to walk into a dark home again. It can light up a pathway for you. So this is not really, you know, you could say that someone who decides to get involved with home automation and Certainly a home theater tends to be a, you know, uh, an, you know, an expensive thing, but maybe it doesn't have to be. But it sounds like eventually this is going to become very commonplace, that every home within majority of price ranges are going to have some level of, ho of home automation. It's almost like a car, like you said, where even with the windows, eventually, originally the windows, you would roll them up. Right. Then, then they became all electric, right. and then some of the doors close, and so I would imagine a lot of this is really going to become very common. Yeah, for, certainly for resale value, um, right. you know, alone, you should consider automating parts of your house. There's really no house that we come across, certainly in Boca Raton area, that doesn't have an alarm system, in, in, you know, right. anymore. But um, we can use that alarm system, that wiring that's already in, to trigger events because we know when right. doors open and shut. When you know when you open a window, the air conditioning can shut off automatically. When you close the window, it turns back on again. All seamlessly, where there is no button presses, no no thought process right. going on. But to, to get back to your first question, is you know what are the possibilities? Certainly, people are interested in in the big two: lighting automation and home house audio. Um, and home theater is right up there as well. And there's uh, a room like this; it's more of a multimedia room, multi-purpose room. Right. Then there's dedicated theaters: the stage, a presidium wall, tiered seating, right. and so yeah, forth. Those are great. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. Um, one of the problems that we have in these South Florida homes is these big open architectures, high ceilings. Try and play a TV in there and you hear it around the entire house and it echoes everywhere. Right. So we like to design a room that is soundproof as well as acoustically neutral. So it, sound, it sounds as good as it can inside the room, but everybody outside doesn't hear it as well. I'd actually like you to do that for my kids because if I, even though you caught me watching Bugs Life, that's probably because, <laughs> you know, because of them. You know, if I watch Barney one more time, I'm gonna go crazy. So I would love to have that kind of soundproofing. But you know what I think? Maybe why don't we do this? Because you've shown me your your uh, office before. Why don't we go around in your showroom, actually? Excuse me. And why don't we show everybody at home some of the things that they can do? Okay. Okay. Great. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 